a victorious Bo Nickel, 2-0 in the UFC now, and you got it done in 38 seconds, the exact same amount of time that Robbie Lawler finished his fight just before you. Did you know that? I just found out that. That's honestly such a crazy thing. I don't even know what to say. Um, Robbie is such a legend, and to, that just, it's just weird to me that, that we both got the finish at the same time, and, um, you know, we were kind of chatting the whole week, and we were bouncing off each other, good vibes and whatnot. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super happy for him to cap his career off, and obviously, you know, happy that I got the win as well. Of course, and being known for being a wrestler, to get it done with your hands, how satisfying was that? It's super satisfying. You know, for me, um, it's just a huge testament to my team. And, you know, Barry Robinson with a million styles boxing, Musa Al Sulaimani, American Top Team Happy Valley, these guys put tons of effort and energy. Um, into me and, and trying to help me get better and you know I just feel really honored that I was able to go out there perform and hopefully you know show, show them some love and uh, you know I, I really really love my team so just grateful that I could do it for those guys. And of course you're fairly new to the UFC but you've been competing for your entire life pretty much as you've said so to get an opponent change literally a few days ago yeah. I mean one I'm sure you're grateful that Val stepped up but, but at the same time did you feel he'd be any challenge for you? You know, anytime you go into, the fight, into a fight, it's going to be a challenge, right? Like, it is, it's so volatile. It's the most volatile sport on the planet. And uh, so you, you can't go in there not, not on 100%, not um, or overlooking somebody. Anytime that happens, I think that's when you see big upsets. People um, just, things don't go their way. So for me, it's, I, I treat every opponent the same. I'm 100% effort the whole time. And uh, yeah, you know, I, I'm just glad that I was able to get the win. Yeah. And having the wrestling pedigree that you do a lot of fighters their hands are low they're getting ready to defend those takedowns and then you come over with the the shot the way you do was that the game plan um the game plan was honestly just get him on the ground um you know maybe land some strikes before but i, I noticed that i expect him to, to rush into me a little bit and so when he rushed into me um or when he didn't rush into me when he was patient then i was like okay we have to make a little adjustment yeah. so i started feigning him feigning him and he was, I noticed he was dropping his hands a lot, dropping his lead hand to try to underhook me from the shot. So then I knew my right hook would be there. Um, obviously that wobbled him, then you know finished him off after that. But uh, yeah, just made a little adjustment on the fly. When asked who you wanted next, you didn't give a, a name in the octagon there, but I've heard you say you'd like to test yourself against the Dagestani fighter to kind of go, you know, who's wrestling yeah. is best. You know, any Dagestani names that, that come to mind? You know, um, really whoever there is. There, there's so many tough fighters out of Dagestan and I respect their, um, skills so much, how, uh, their effort they put in this sport. I feel like our mindsets are very similar from me come from American wrestling, Penn State wrestling, uh, and you know how they treat their sport. So it's nothing but respect um, for me to them. And uh, yeah, I, I want to be the best in the world. So that's going to involve beating every single person. Would Trayshawn Gore be a, a potential next opponent? You know, you've already sort of prepared for yeah. him once, you know, and the fight didn't happen. Would, would that be an it? Or you do move past that now? You know, I'm not going to say 100% I'm going to move past it, but at the same time, it's going to be really hard for me given that he, he pulled out so late in the fight. And uh, um, I, I'm sure that everything that's going on with him injury-wise is 100% uh, legit. Like, I don't really think that people are afraid to fight or whatever. A lot of people say, oh, he's afraid to fight me. It's like, we're all pro fighters, so I don't really feel that way. But at the same time, I don't know if I can risk spending, you know, 10, 12 weeks leading up to a fight and have that happen again. It would, it would be it would be difficult. So, you know, we, we might have to move past it, but that's a decision I'll make with my management team and coaches. I know you want to rise pretty, pretty fast within the sport. And you mentioned September, I think, as a, as a month. <laughs> so obviously in September, look, we've got Sydney. September, <laughs> uh, September is uh, is archery season for, for oh. elk. So I'm going to be archery hunting in September. That and, takes uh, priority? It does. It does for me. <laughs> One month out of the year. Um, but oh. yeah, so I'll be, I'll be archery hunting uh, Colorado, Montana, New Mexico. And get elk, bring the meat back for my family, and then uh, I'll fight, you know, if I can get on the November, December card, or if not, we'll, we'll figure it out. But yeah, that's my plan. I mean, it went well for you being on the John Jones card for your debut. So, and last question from me, like how much more familiar did this feel, you know, back in Vegas where you made your debut? Obviously it's International Fight Week, so it's a much bigger occasion, but were the nerves a little more settled and the familiarity there? Oh, 100%, they're way more settled. I think that every single fight, uh, I'll be more poised, I'll be more comfortable, more confident, and, uh, you know, I think that just having that experience in March was so valuable um, for, for this. I was so relaxed and I felt at home. So, you know, I'll, I'll continue to, I think, improve, get better and uh, be able to perform very well in, in all of my fights. All right. Can't wait to see what's next for you. Congratulations once again. And thanks for talking to us. Thank you.